Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Pound for Pound TV. This is Michael and it's been a while, but I'm back. He is tall, timber, and just like the giant sequoias of his native California, Diego Pacheco is making people look up at him, but that's because he keeps knocking them down. Standing at six foot four, the recently signed to Matchroom Los Angelean is the latest riding the Boxing Hype Express, and many are wondering if the hype is real. Certainly, someone looking to derail the train, Wiley Coyote style, is Argentinian Marcelo Coseres. The two will headline a card brought to you by Matchroom that will also feature a WBA World Super Bantamweight title fight when May Adeline Rivas defends her WBA title against Mexico's Eric Cruz. The action goes down Saturday the 18th of November at the YouTube Theatre Inglewood, California, US of E. <laughs> Diego Pacheco continues to master the art of fighting from mid to long range, where he is able to safely land missile-like power punches that both tenderize and prime his opponents for a finale that seems to repeat itself in many of his fights time and again. Pacheco uses his jab to set his opponents in a range that suits him best. He puts some serious mustard on these jabs, which deters the other fighter from getting in too close, but Pacheco is careful to not let them get out of range and stays with them, just close enough to react to anything incoming and close enough to capitalize on any opportunities to land. When he gets that opportunity, Lord have mercy, he carries enough pop to stun his rival before closing the show with a volley of punches that either send his opponent to the canvas for 40 winks or the ref steps in to call it curtains. 19 wins with 16 by KO or TKO, he's quickly becoming Captain Snooze with boxing gloves. His sense of timing is sublime and his right hand cross over the top springs into action like a rubber band whenever an opponent steps in and a defensive gap creates an opening for a headshot. His inside game is evolving too and in his last fight Pacheco was thrown in the ring with an experienced and relentless pressure fighter Mexican Manuel Gallegos. In a ring roughly the size of my bathtub, Gallegos did what he does best and tried to walk Pacheco down. He landed a hook here and across there, but Pacheco took it well, stood his ground for much of the fight and eventually broke Manuel down before crumbling the Mexican to the canvas in the fourth round with a perfectly placed and timed body shot. Gallegos beat the count, but the writing was on the wall. After some more punishment, the ref had seen enough and Pacheco earned a TKO win. The minuscule size of the ring and the aggressive nature of Gallegos highlighted Pacheco's growing maturity in the ring and all-round ability. He'll need all those attributes against the tough Argentinian who didn't just go the distance with another hype fighter in Edgar Berlanga, but who sent Berlanga to the canvas in the ninth round of their fight before eventually losing on points. I don't know what they put in that mate drink that they love so much down there in Argentina, but it's almost mandatory to preface discussions about Argentinian fighters with the fact that they are some of the more tough and durable fighters in the sweet science. Going back to Luis Firpo, to Oscar Bonavena, to Carlos Monzon, right through to the more recent years with the likes of Marcos Maidana, Lucas Matisse, and of course, the ladies. Ladies like Daniela and Evelyn Bermudez, Marcela Acuna, Gabriel Alaniz, and many, many more that I am leaving out. Well, Marcelo Coseres is no different. Of course, I'm not suggesting that he is as accomplished as some of the bigger and more recognized names that I just listed, only that he is another product of the tough and hardy breed that Argentina produces, and he is exactly the type of fighter that Team Pacheco are looking for if they want to continue Pacheco's development as a fighter having to face stubborn opposition that pose a danger whenever engaging at close quarters. This is exactly what they can expect from Coceres when he steps into the ring to face Diego this coming 18th of November. Coceres is happy for you to come at him and to take lumps in order to dish it back. His fight against Billy Joe Saunders is a good example. Saunders, who typically opts to box from a distance, put the pressure on Coceres, and Coceres was happy to fight moving back where he timed and countered Saunders, catching him multiple times with counter shots to the head and body with a couple of those shots noticeably troubling Saunders. Coceres went on to lose by TKO, but he surprised many that night. He weathered the storm against Edgar Belanga throughout much of their fight. 
he never really panicked and, like the experienced veteran he is, Coceres never stopped looking for errors made by Belanga whenever he charged in and caught Belanga with some serious check hooks and right hands. It was a counter right hand over the top that sat Belanga on his ass in the ninth round. 32 wins, 18 by KO, 5 losses with 1 by KO and 1 draw. Coceres is a serious threat and will land shots in between punches and is always looking for mistakes, mistakes that Pacheco can't afford to make. If I'm wrong, I'm happy to smelt iron wearing spandex, but in order to win this fight, Pacheco has to be on high alert at all times. He can't have a lapse in concentration because that's what Coceres will be looking for. Coceres carries some legitimate power and he'll be looking to land that one big bomb that could change the game and he'll definitely find that opportunity if you switch off for a second. Coceres moves a lot and Pacheco might find it difficult to land with enough force to put Coceres to sleep due to that movement, but I do see Pacheco getting the win on points. Pacheco by unanimous decision is my pick. Thank you for watching Pound for Pound TV. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for future updates. See you in the next one. Check out our Patreon page to become a Patreon family member where you will receive some cool perks. If you're looking for some new threads, we've got t-shirts, hoodies, and much, much more. So head on over to our Michael A. Kobe Pound for Pound TV stores. They can be found on Redbubble and Spreadshop. Join me on my travels and head on over to my other YouTube channel titled Barefoot and Free. There you can follow me as I traverse the many parts of our planet and occasionally get into a spot of bother. Nonetheless, it's always fun and entertaining. If you're struggling with some of life's obstacles and challenges, my book How to Get Out of Life Traps might just be the answer that you're looking for to help guide you through the difficult times. It's helped many get past some of their darkest moments and it might do the same to you. You can purchase it on Amazon where you can also find a wide range of my other works. Those works include screenplay to book adaptations, a fairly unique concept with genres covering comedy heist and revenge, drama, supernatural and crime, if that's more your cup of tea. You can find them by following the link provided.